now I'm going to say something that some people might disagree with, but、um, <laughs> I think a lot of academics have this romantic viewpoints about reasoning. You know, it must be something、mm. that I cannot easily do, but computers can do in a very accurate, precise manner, and we should be able to somehow come up with some logical formalism that really. Spells out all this inductive deductive reasoning that we did、mm-hmm. in the process. So I think that was actually the reason why in seventies and eighties the common sense research didn't go very well because the researchers back then were a bit too hung up on having to come up with this formal language, logical forms, or some sort of a logical formula that can describe the sort of things we can. Reason through language. So I came to this conclusion in recent years that actually language is the best medium for reasoning. In fact, even mathematicians they cannot do very much of a proof without access to natural language. If you ask those people who do this all the time, they actually think also a lot through language, and you know they have to explain what their formulas are supposed to mean through language. So even if they have equations and you know logical forms that they define. They really cannot do very much without language. But when we think about how humans learn and how we argue with each other to、uh, share our reasoning about an issue, everything is through language. And the moment we try to invent some other formalism, there's a loss of information or loss of expressiveness.、Mm-hmm. That loss is so significant, so that it may be okay if I want to only focus on in. Integrating some equations or differentiating some equations, then you know it's okay to lose the power of natural language. But if I want to do、uh, social common sense reasoning, physical common sense reasoning that are that I can describe in natural language and all of it, then we are getting into trouble when we try to translate that content down to some mathematical formalism because we never been able to. Invent such a language that's equivalent to the power of language. The part of the problem is that natural language is a bizarre thing. It's just oftentimes ambiguous, which is also why you know there's a major discrepancy in the way how people might. I mean, even with the science, how people interpret whether climate change is happening or not, or whether vaccine works or not.、Uh, one would expect that this. I mean, it's a scientific. Uh, result is so everybody must be able to interpret it in the same way, but actually not. That's a part of the challenge, and、um, it seems that we just have to embrace it.、Uh, when when there's an ambiguity, instead of trying to invent a language that does not have any ambiguity, it might be that the agent AI agent has to be able to work with it. So it's a very、uh, experimental research direction, I would say. But well, empirically,、right. it's been the most promising of all. <laughs>